welcome to our digital senior farewell service, where we will pray together, hear a message from our principal, Mrs. Carter, and from our student body president, Ayanna McCarley, and bless our graduating seniors of the class of 2020. Now let's transition into the prayer service with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Lord, throughout our lives, you have guided us on this journey. With every pitfall and win, you have been by our side, protecting us and loving us through it all. This journey of life we walk with you, Lord, is one riddled with many joys and disappointments, many loves and many losses, many successes and many fails. And we acknowledge that it is all a part of your divine plan. But God, I won't lie. This global pandemic has made, it a little, has made life a little bleak. It's hard to see the joy and light at the end of the tunnel when it seems as though we are surrounded by nothing but sadness. God, in your word, Psalms chapter 30, verse 5, it says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lord, you make it definitive that joy will come in the morning. So as hard as it may be, help us to trust that it will come. Lord, help my classmates in the class of 2020 and all the faculty and staff to see that joy and happiness and clarity and peace and resolve and understanding will prevail. Help us to find pride in ourselves because although this journey was untraditional, we made it nonetheless. Not only did we make it Lord with you by our side, we have danced to the finish line with scholarships, college acceptances, high recognitions, stellar GPAs, and positive attitudes. Lord, thank you for carrying our spirits even when it feels like all we can do is cry. Lord, thank you for, for keeping us over these past four years and thank you for the joy that you declared will come. In Jesus' holy name, amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent people you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. The waves of death swirled around me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dearest class of 2020, I started the school year off with a message to our faculty and staff, sharing a passage from Archbishop Wilton Gregory's initial address to the Archdiocese of Washington. I shared this verse from Mark 4, verse 35 to 41. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat, so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. I went on to the staff to explain that we would be faced with challenging days ahead, what some call turbulent times. I never had the foresight that those turbulent times would be a pandemic that would try to separate us as a family. 
Even the theme on your senior shirt stated, 2020 came and nothing was the same. How ironic. As the saying goes, the Lord never gives us more than we can handle. He has certainly challenged us to be stronger and more resilient than ever. When we announced the closing of school on March 12th, we assumed that in a couple weeks we would be together again in the hallways, resume having lunch in the Mona Center, continuing cheering for each other on the football field, and laughing in the enrichment zone. Indeed, nothing has been the same. So much has changed in just a short time, but one thing has been steadfast. We are still Bishop McNamara. We are Holy Cross. There have been many days when I get up in the morning hoping that today would be the day we could go back to the school building or maybe even turn back the hands of time. Although that day didn't come, I love and appreciate the ways we have been able to stay in touch and support one another. Senior families have reached out to say thank you for the senior Saturday visits and deliveries and all say how special it was for them. What everyone may not know is that like a child on Christmas Eve, I didn't sleep much the night before. I wasn't nervous like I am the night before the first day of school, but I was excited. Excited for the joy that we had hoped it would bring to this class of 2020. The only downside of that day for me was that I only made it to 16 homes and not all 215. What a great day to be a Mustang. This is a class that has remained steadfast in completing schoolwork, work to support and encourage one another, and manage to still smile in the midst of adversity. I always knew as a parent, and now the principal, that this class had the vision to be those who would love and serve others, make good choices in life, and be the best example of what it means to be a student at Bishop McNamara High School. I am so proud of this class. And as I would love to be able to hug each one of you just one last time before you leave our nest, I know that's not reality. But with God, all things are possible. And I know one day soon we will see each other again. May the peace of Christ be with each member of this class, your families, the loved ones that we've lost, and the entire Bishop McNamara community. Thank you. A reading from the good news according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you. I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, everyone. My name is Ayanna McCarley, and I'm the student body president. It's been a privilege to attend Bishop McNamara these past four years. Before I go any further, I would just like to say thank you. Thank you to my class for encouraging, supporting, and motivating me. Thank you to the student body for advocating for one another, standing up for yourselves, and standing firm in what you believe in. Thank you to our honor council, peer ministers, and student council officers, and cabinet members for your hard work during this past year. It has not gone unnoticed, and it is appreciated. And a big thank you to, and thank you to the administration, faculty, and staff for believing in us, even when we did not necessarily believe in ourselves. Over these past four years, I have learned a lot. So I would like to share with all of you some of the main lessons I have learned, which is what I've decided to call a Yana survival guide. It not only applies to high school, but for life as well. Lesson one, we are one. Throughout this time of crisis, I believe we can all learn to unite by learning to accept, understand, and empathize with each other. Lesson two, Take risks and get out of your comfort zone. Remember that life will only change when you become more committed to your dreams than you are to your comfort zone. You will never truly understand or know your true potential and power until you try new things. Lesson three, advocate for yourself and others. Continue to stand up for what you believe in. 
fight against the injustices you see being carried out. We are part of a society that stands up against what is unfair and unjust. Here at McNamara, we have marched in rallies together and participated in walkouts like the National Walkout for Gun Control, March for Our Lives, and the Climate Strike. Even though we may not agree with each other's views, we have learned to respect and understand where each other is coming from, which I think is the greatest key in not only seeing McNamara evolve into the community we would like it to be, but as well as seeing America become the society we want it to be. Lesson four, no matter how tough it gets or how tired you may feel, never, never give up. My dad once said, you have to do what others aren't willing to do and don't want to do to get to where you want to be. If you want to achieve something, work at it. There is nothing more rewarding than seeing your hard work pay off. Lesson five, do not stress yourself out. In the passage I read from the Gospel of John, Jesus mentions, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Do not overwhelm yourself with too many things. You will exert yourself physically and mentally. Your body is your temple. You must treat it well and feed your soul as good as you would feed your body. Lesson six, do not doubt yourself. Author Alex L. once said, I am here, I am whole. Everything I wish to be is nestled within me. With self-trust, faith, and resilience, my roots will run deep. I will grow, I will flourish, I will become. Over the past four years, we have been through a lot in our school. We have been doubted and ostracized because we are a predominantly African-American school. We have been called Black Numera and thugs, but we stay true to ourselves and embraced who we are. We are exceptional performers, artists, athletes, and students. Realize that you are the image of excellence. You are greatness. You have a superpower that no one else does, and that is you are you. Lesson seven, life is too short. Do the things that make you happy and be around those who build you up. It is okay to get upset and mad, but do not stay mad for long. Forgive and make amends. As we can see from this year, we never know when anyone's calling is. Do not make the last thing you said to someone something you will regret. Throughout life, you will face many obstacles that will make you doubt who you are and your worth. These obstacles may either make or break you. Always remember to stay true to yourself, who you are and where you intend to go. But know you have a family here at McNamara that will forever support you, motivate you, and encourage you along the way. To end, I just want to leave you with a quote that a friend of my family, Rick Bird, told me. Don't dim your light for anyone. If someone thinks your light is too bright, tell them to go to Walmart and buy some shades. Thank you. We now take a moment to ask our God for the things we need. God has helped us come this far through all the ups and downs, victories and disappointments, and uncertainty and loss of these last several months. We entrust ourselves to God as we each enter our time of transition. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. God, may all of us, especially those bidding farewell, be reminded of your unfailing love and mercy, especially in times of darkness, doubt, or despair. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, when we forget you or forget your ways, help us remember your closeness and call to renewal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, as we go through transitions, help us continue to put our love into action, making your presence concrete in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, fill us with a thirst for wholeness, healing, and justice for those we encounter in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God, help us remember to use our leadership and compassion and help the class of 2021 embrace their calling to be good role models for the McNamara community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, help us to listen to your Holy Spirit alive in our hearts. Help us to make good decisions at each of the crossroads in our lives and hold us firmly as we experience good changes and scary changes. Allow all of heaven to bring us peace and protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, you loved us so much that you became one of us. Hear the intentions in the silence of our hearts. and conform our will to your plan for our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. As we do every time we gather to worship as God's family, let us pray the words Jesus taught his friends. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, God, from each and every evil. Give us peace in our hearts, peace in our school, peace in our country and world, and peace in our day. Because you are good, Help us to avoid sin. Help us to avoid hurting others and hurting ourselves. Free us from fear. Free us from being anxious as we wait for you to come into our lives again and again. As our creator, as our savior, and as our redeemer. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Jesus of Nazareth, before leaving his friends, told them, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. And so following the model of Christ Jesus, I offer peace to each of you. If you are watching with someone else and it is safe to do so, I invite you to share some sign of peace with one another. time we are going to offer a blessing for the entire senior class. Its words come from scripture and offer a message of hope to our seniors. For this I'll be joined by Mr. Sandeman and the class presidents from the other grades to share from scripture. Class of 2020, please offer your open minds and open hearts to receive this blessing. Forget the former thing. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope in the future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord, 
and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. I ask everyone watching to consider joining me in raising a hand so that despite the distance of space and time, we may nevertheless be united in blessing the class of 2020. Dear Lord, we ask your blessings upon these young people as they move forward to take on new challenges and adventures. In every moment, help them to know and recognize their value, goodness, and true self. Should times come when they feel lost or defeated, provide them with strength and courage to continue trying, seeking, and moving. Surround them with communities who provide support on tough days and challenges when necessary. Fill these young people with joy when they do well, keep them humble through victory and defeat, strengthen them as they deal with life's obstacles. Show them that every challenge is an opportunity to learn, grow, and become better. As they stand here now, on the edge of new opportunity and new beginning, give them the courage to ask, what's the next right step? Let this question be one they return to with frequency to help them chart a path that leads to the good. In the name of Jesus, amen. St. Andre Bissette, pray for us. Blessed Father Moreau, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this prayerful experience.